All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sync your phone, your iPhone, and your Mac, laptop, or computer uh, to be able to use iMessages and, more importantly, text messages um, so that you can send text messages from your Mac computer to, because um, by default, when you set up your iMessages, you can send messages, the iMessage um, that's uh, Apple um, proprietary to other Apple devices. But in this tutorial, I'm showing you how to send actual text messages to nine Apple devices. So an Android phone or something like that, which is a really nice feature to have. Um, and so uh, this is an update to a previous tutorial where I showed you this, but uh, that was a few years back. And so things have changed a little bit. And so I wanna make sure um, they have the current directions. Um, all right, so one of the first things you should do, um, and I, as I was testing this out, I actually was able to get this to work without this little step, but I'm gonna recommend you do it though. Um, I think it's safer just to make sure. So first thing you should do is on your Mac, make sure um, you're logged into your iCloud account. Um, so to do that, if you have the latest operating system, um, Catalina, uh, you would go to System Preferences, um, and then uh, you're going to go to, um, as soon as you, that comes up at the top here, you'll see your Apple ID if it's in here. If not, you'll be prompted to set it up. Um, uh, you could click on this little button here, and that takes you to a page that says Start Using Your iCloud, and you can just click on that and uh, follow those steps there, and you'll be up and running with iCloud. If you have an older Mac, um, uh, you the, the process might be you go to system preferences and then you click on this little um, icon here for iCloud um, and then that just takes you you just put in your Apple ID hit next and put in your password for your Apple ID and you're then you're uh, all set up on the iCloud on your Mac okay all right so next thing we need to do is actually open your uh, messages app on your Mac um, so you can go in the finder and just type in messages if you're not as familiar with that, you can click on your little Macintosh HD, um, click on applications, and messages should be right in there as well. When you first open your messages app, you should be prompted to log in with your Apple ID. Go ahead and do that. You'll probably have to put in your pat, hit next, and in your password again. Um, but then, uh, once you're in there, then you should go to your um, with the messages app open. Click on messages at the uh, file menu and um, click on preferences and then click on the iMessage tab and then here you're going to make sure you see your Apple ID here hit enable and then you put in your phone number here if it's not showing up already and make sure that's checked for you can be reached at um, you can be reached for messages at so that that's important to make sure that's there all right um, after you do that, you probably would probably get, as soon as you log into iMessages, you're probably going to get these little pop-ups. Definitely on your phone, you'll see this, and it's basically um, says your Apple ID and phone number are now being used for iMessages on a new device. That's fine. That's normal. It's just a little security feature to let you know. You can just hit OK. Um, you might get something like this if you have another Mac computer, um, which I do. This popped up letting me know that I um, was logged in on another device now. All right, so next step. So if you just wanted to have your, be able to use your iMessages app, you'd be fine at this point, but we wanna set it up so that you can actually use it to do the text messaging. So um, what you need to do is go onto your iPhone, okay? And then you're going to go to settings and then you're gonna scroll down to your messages app. And then um, this will be the resulting page. Make sure you click on text message forwarding um, after you click on that you will should then see all the devices that text message forwarding is set up for um, I happen to have it on another Mac and a, an iPad and so uh, this is the new one that I just added and so we've got to click this little switch here and then once that's all set up you should be um, good for um, doing that text messaging now um, I do recommend you double check that you set up your phone number um, and 
iCloud ID as reachable numbers. And to do that, this is a real quick process. Just go into settings in your, in your phone, in your iPhone, and at the very top here, you should see your name. Click right there. Uh, that's gonna take you to this page. And you click on the little link here that says name, phone number, and uh, email. Um, that's gonna take you to a page right here. And just make sure that your Apple ID and your phone number show up under this section here that says reachable at. All right, if that is all that's good, if your information shows there, that's it. You should now be able to text and iMessage um, from the messaging app on your Mac. All right, please let me know if you have any trouble with this process. Glad to help you um, in the comments. Um, otherwise, uh, please subscribe and see you online. Thanks.